to everything that's going on at Barcelona and the scandal with the referees. This is Mundo, Depo the Mundo Deportivo, just saying basically a summary of Caso Negreira, all out in the open. UEFA has opened an investigation into these payments. What more can you tell us with the latest updates here, Gab? So, look, there's obviously different dimensions to the story. Uh, obviously, but we're, we're EFE, which is the leading news agency in Spain. So, you know, this isn't a, a sort of a partisan newspaper. You know, this is like the equivalent of Reuters or the AP. They did some original reporting and they reported the prosecutor's office uh, hasn't been able to find any solid evidence of, of, of that money being used to go and corrupt uh, referees in Spain, which is obviously uh, a big win for uh, Barcelona. At the same time, UEFA are going to have to open an investigation anyway in terms of financial fair play. Uh, and, and there's really two reasons uh, for this effectively. Uh, if they gave $7 million to Negreiro, he would have done something with that money. Uh, if Negreiro attempted to uh, influence referees on a, on a European level, uh, then obviously that becomes uh, UEFA's business. And of course, unlike uh, La Liga in Spain, there is no statute of limitations on it. And I think there's also, strictly speaking, an accounting uh, argument to this. They're going to go back to the books and say, hey, you know, this $7 million you gave him, uh, is it all under, is it all in your accounts legitimately under consulting fees or, or you know, fees for you to watch videos of referees and, uh, and, and give us reports about them, which is the official line. Um, so they're going to go back and uh, dig into that. Uh, I, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to speculate what they'll find or, or, or how they'll move, but obviously the relationship between Barcelona and UEFA right now isn't great. If it is worst case scenario, Gab, in terms of what they do find, what are we looking at for punishment for Barcelona? What might it mean? Well, if it's purely a financial fair play violation, um, then you have the usual range of, of, of potential potential uh, punishment, you know, right? Going right up to a ban in an extreme case of false accounting, obstruction of justice, whatever else, to, uh, you know, limitations on, uh, on spending, to, to a fine, to exclusion uh, for, from the Champions League, limitations in, in the transfer market. Um, but I think it's really premature to speculate about that. Uh, if they find other evidence in terms of of actual tampering with, with referees. But again, I should stress, this is pretty far-fetched. They just feel like they need to investigate, right? Why, they always let the local authorities the, 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 uh, investigate first, and then they follow up. Uh, but if there was evidence of tampering with referees, then obviously that would be very, very serious, and it would be hard to see them uh, escaping a ban. Personally, and, and this is just my wild speculation here, I would assume that if the Spanish criminal investigators couldn't find solid evidence uh, about something that happened five years ago, uh, I, I don't see how UEFA uh, are going to be able to do it in, in terms of actual tampering with referees. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.